How to cut glass tubing. Well, it's quite simple. I've done it for years. But recently I trekked myself to a tool to do this because I was curious to see how good it was. So this is a bit of a review of the tool in question. I've always cut glass tubing like this by using a needle file and just filing around it and then snapping it. But anyway, on we go with the review of this tool. So here is the tool in question and I bought it from eBay and it was not very expensive. I think if you pay a couple of pounds extra, the seller will sell you a piece of glass tube. But as you can see, I've got plenty of that. All you do is put the piece of glass tube in the tool, use your thumb to apply a little bit of pressure so the cutting blade scores the glass all the way around and then snap it. Health and safety warning. So really I should have protective clothing on for this. I would recommend wearing goggles or at least a piece of cloth to stop it from sticking in your fingers. But, as it's the only excitement I get in my life these days, I'm going to do it without the aid of a safety net. And I'll do it again. Put the piece of glass in the tool, put a little bit of pressure with your thumb on the button, and then snap it in half. And look at that. Really, really good. Much quicker and easier than using a needle file, and it does all kinds of different sizes. I don't have any really huge gauge glasses to cut, but I have some very small stuff. So I'll try this and see what happens. Same principle, into the tool, bit of pressure on the top with your thumb, and in this case a bit too much pressure on the top with my thumb, and the glass cuts. This is definitely a must for any model engineer's workshop. I definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.